So David Benavidez, he listen, I like David, but let's 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 come back down to reality. David looks good against small guys. He fight Arthur, he's gonna get knocked out. It won't go past three. Mm. Cause I'm gonna tell you why, because David's not used to fighting anybody who hit that hard and that big and physically an animal. Uh, David is not physically strong at all. Arthur, he gonna have to deal with Arthur being physically what? strong. What? You're saying David's not strong? He's not physically strong. Well, that's wow. why he's not physically strong. Like, if David don't punch hard, he just put a lot of punches together. He and those are the words of Lonnie B. Thompson as he claims that, like you guys heard, that David Benavidez is not physically strong at that weight class of 175 in... You know, sure, with smaller guys, but not at 175. And let me counterpunch. I think what people misunderstand is um, he said at that weight class at 175. See, we don't know how strong David is. I think David is um, average at 175. You know what I mean? Thus far. I mean, he was still able to take shots from 175. So he's no pushover. He's tough. But is he where he was at 168? No. He was strong at 168. He was a month at 168. Right? But now he's kind of like a, a an average guy, you know, or above average guy. I mean, you know, because he got the job done against Volsnik. But understand, Volsnik's been out of the ring for a while. Okay, so you have to you have to keep that in mind. This wasn't a guy that was all that active because Better Be Ev retired him for two years after fighting Better Be Ev. Okay, so you have to understand that. But what Lonnie B was saying that like, yo, he's smaller guys. He's he's look, he's physically strong, meaning he overpowers you with shots like he did Callum. I mean, um, 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 Caleb Plant, right? And you know. Those type of things at 168 in that weight class, he does appear strong. But now, like he said, he overwhelms you with punches. That's what he does. That's always been his thing. So not only was he strong at 168, he was also uh, very busy and a pressure fighter and threw rapid combinations. And they, you, you think about him, someone throwing punches that fast at you, you know, they look damn good too. You know what I mean? Bat, 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 bat. You know what I mean? And he's throwing these shots. You know, that's overwhelming. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you can tell it like swarm, like a bunch of bees coming at you at one time. You know, one ain't putting you down, but a lot of them are making you duck, dodge, and run, right? And get out of the way. So, yeah, definitely. I, I think uh, Lonnie B has a point with that. And especially fighting someone like Better Be Ev, that is a, that's a problem. You know, because Better Be Ev is a guy that can hit you with these shots that you don't really realize that are hitting you that hard. And they were testimony of that when, you know, Better Be Ev hit you and moved you with that power. You know, it's a difficult thing. And I think what people don't understand, I think people are jumping on that bandwagon, not understanding what's happening. I look at David Benavidez just like I looked at Errol Spence. Errol Spence was very strong at 147. Was he the strongest? Maybe at a certain in a certain stable of fighters, but not overall. You know what I mean? He was strong. He was big. That's why he was calling out guys like Canelo and Golovkin when they were already at 160. You know what I mean? That just you know quiet kept. That's what was going on. But was he just this overly strong guy? I don't. You know, I I don't think he really was. If he couldn't put little old Terrence down. You know, compared to how he was supposed to or how he was perceived, he was supposed to ran right through Terrence Crawford. Remember that? Then he did not. He did nothing of the sort. OK, David Benavidez in a situation is the same. You know, he goes to 175. He, he takes he, he takes Volsnik to the 12th round or Volsnik takes him to the 12th round or whatnot. Right. Him being a former champion, which is impressive all by itself. OK, keep that in mind. Nobody's dissing David Benavidez over here. But fighting someone like Bevel and Better Be Ev, Better Be Ev would probably be more dangerous because uh, simply because David is very aggressive and he needs those rapid fire combinations to keep you at bay because that's a part of his pressure. That's a part of his offensive tactics. He will get chinned and caught with something from Better Be Ev that he won't like that he's never, ever experienced. That's what Lonnie B is saying. 
You know, and then you got a guy that like better be Ev. He's just not going to hit you with one shot. He's going to hit you with about four or five or until you uh, crumble, until you cave in, you know, or you give up, you know, and he's one of those guys that will run over you that is physically strong for that weight class. Now, let's look at that to be fair. Maybe Artur Bateriev is a guy that's really strong at 175, but if he goes to, let's say, to going up there with Jaya Pattaya, he might not be as physically strong, or he might be right there, but he won't be as strong as he was at 175. You see what I mean? And between Dimitri Bivol and, and David Benavidez, just talking on that for a second, that's more of a doable or a winnable fight for David Benavidez because Bivol is not the hardest puncher. He's not known as a hard puncher at that weight class. A very quick, accurate combination with a ring high cue and all that good stuff and throws similar combinations uh, in, in a way uh, of pressure like David Benavidez. So David is a better chance of him taking Artur, I mean, Dimitri Bivol shots versus Artur. Artur is the, probably the strongest guy up there. You know what I'm saying? And guys that are strong, you know, got hit with him and their legs just gave in. You know what I mean? These guys have testified like, yo, this dude, you know, is a very extra, extraordinary puncher. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Lonnie B stating that David Benavidez is not a physically strong fighter at 175. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.